Hello everyone, this is an overview to show you the many features available to you in both Video Studio Pro and also the Ultimate version. If you are newer to video editing, you should find this pretty easy to follow. There's a lot to cover. I'm going to start with the features only available in the Ultimate version. So this is some handheld footage I shot a couple of years ago. Uh, if you look at it, it's a little shaky. It could use some improvement. So what I'm going to do is apply the Mercalli filter. This is a split screen view of the bottom has been stabilized and the top has not. This is a feature that comes with the ultimate version of Video Studio 7. Okay, now I'm going to show you the finished product without the split screen. You see how nice that is? Okay, to me that makes buying the ultimate version a must have for this filter alone. Okay, there's some other filters to look at as well, so let's keep going. This is Boris Graffiti. It makes very professional looking titles. There are dozens of animated effects for titles that you can easily select. They are very easy to work with. This is just a small example of the different styles of text. To the right you can see the glitter effect. This is a filter. This is a shatter effect. Okay, there are many filters available. This is a picture in picture effect. A lot of these things are for the more advanced user to use, but for titles you can't beat it. This is another text filter. It basically creates text just like you see here. It also creates many different things. We're going to take a quick peek at that. So there are many themed backgrounds available to you with different text looks and styles. And basically you just select one and change the text to whatever you want it to be. This is Rotopen. It allows you to draw lines or paths on anything you wish. There are many different style paths that you can choose, from the dotted to fancy. There's also small animations you can attach to them as well. This is the new blue color fast filter. It is one of a handful that you get with the ultimate version. Okay, it has film looks built into it. That's what a lot of people call it. With one click, you change the overall look of your video. Okay, then also up here you control all the color settings within your video. You can do highlights, mid-tones, shadows. It's a pretty powerful color corrector. Okay, let's move on. This is Vitascene. It's a lot like the Color Fast filter with a lot of different film looks. And there's, you know, a whole lot to choose from that are not available on the other filter. Okay, down here same thing, you have a lot of adjustments. You can go really far and really deep with these filters. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, now we're going to look at the Pro version. I'm going to start right here. Stop motion. This is a wizard that you bring images into. And basically it helps you create what is known as stop animation. I'm really not any good at it myself as you can see, but basically that's what you do is you create stop animations with this particular wizard. Okay, this is the screen capture feature. You can capture anything you want that appears on your computer screen. You can go full screen, adjust the size of the capture window. You know, you can if there's a video playing on here that you want to capture, you can capture it uh, for gamers. I found that you can record games, but what I consider a problem with this particular recorder is you have to start the recorder before you start the game. Then once you start the game, it records it, but you don't have the ability to pause and restart and stuff like that. So basically you end up with a very long recording. So it's really not that practical for that. Okay, but other than that, like I said, anything you can bring up on your screen, you can record. Except for gaming, you don't have any problem starting, stopping, and pausing it. Okay, let's move on. Okay, this area over here is known as your library. It has a lot of animations in it. Well, not a lot, but a number. This animation, you could add a title to it or something. Okay. There's a number of pictures. There are sounds. For sound effects, there's not a lot of these things available, but there is a handful. Okay. 
templates. Now these are pretty nice, okay? There's beginning templates, middle, ending, complete projects, instant projects. Okay, let's say you want a wedding template. Okay, basically what that is, is this does all the heavy lifting for you. Okay, and what you do is you replace this photo with your photo. And it's pretty easy to do. It comes complete with music. But you can replace it with your music. And basically it's just a, it's a really handy, easy way to come up with a kind of a complete project. It's especially good for those of you that are not that good at video editing yet to begin with. Okay, let's move on. Okay, next up is Transitions. Corel comes with 136 of them, so there's plenty of them. You can make adjustments to them as well. The exception is the Vitascene filter that comes with the Ultimate version. This one has close to 100 more transitions that are, are fancier and you can do more things with them. To clarify what transitions are, this is a crossfade between two images, another crossfade, that's usually the most popular one to use, this is a sliding door, this is barn doors, uh, that's flipping box or something like that, and you know like I said there's over a hundred of them, and plus you got the Vitascene if you've got the ultimate, so there's a lot to choose from, let's move on. Okay, these are the animated titles that come with the Pro version. There's a handful of them, but not a whole lot. Okay, so here's the title maker. Basic titles. You can change their color to any color you want. You can change the letter style or font to anything that is on your computer. A lot come with Corel. You can add borders and shadows. You can also add animation effects. Come over here, apply an animation effect. Okay, there are several animated effects, fly-ins, blah, 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 many to choose from, and that gives your text an animation. Okay, so the basic titler does pretty good as well. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, we are now in the graphics tab. This is where you can add solid colors, use them for backgrounds, okay. There are color patterns. This, basically this kind of makes a nice thing for putting a title on. There's a handful of those as you can see. Background. They got some pretty decent looking backgrounds. Okay, these are just JPEGs people. It's not uh, anything that spectacular, but they're nice pictures and you can't get in any trouble for using them in your videos because you own the rights to use these videos. These are frames. Basically frames have holes in them so you put them around an image and they're kinda nice. You get a handful of those. Objects. You get a lot of these. These are these have transparency as well. You can put these on your image you know, nice little Santa Claus type thing. Cool for Christmas. Okay, there's also flash animations. These are kind of nice. I, I kind of really like the globe. Okay, you can resize this as well. And you have an animated spinning globe that's clear. Okay, and there's a handful of other things up here. Let's move on. Okay, next up is the FX effects or special effects, if you will. Corel Pro has 78 of these special effects filters, and the Ultimate version has an additional 16. That actually includes the Boris and all the other filters that we have talked about already. Okay, so here we're looking at the bubble filter. It isn't hard to figure out why it's called that. This is old film. This does a pretty good job of making it look old. Uh, this is invert. This is is what it is. Emboss, which looks kind of different. It's kind of cool. This is just a basic film look from the blue FX filters that come with Ultimate. This is just a still image. I threw in some rain and a little bit of lightning just for the heck of it. But this should give you some idea of what you can do with filters. 
This feature is called Custom Paths. If you look at these icons, if you drag one of these, this is a spiral, to an image, it will make this image spiral as an animation. Okay, and you can even customize and adjust these things, and you can even create your own custom paths and save them for future use. That makes this particular effect very versatile and handy. Let's move on. Okay, so now we're going to look at auto music. Auto music is pretty cool. You get a library with a number of songs, and different tempos, so forth and so on. Play the music. If you think that's the sound you want, and you want to add it to your video, not only will it add it to the video for you, it will make it the proper length in time. It will have an ending regardless of how long your video is. It will play from start to finish and it will have an ending, which that's pretty nice. You can even buy extra tracks. Some of these have different uh, some of these have different songs that you can actually okay, this particular sound you can open up this and you can adjust the individual instruments and then play it back and if that's what the sound you're looking for you can then insert the sound that you created for yourself okay there is also a sound mixer okay this helps you to balance the channels and work with the different audio tracks Okay, another feature is Motion Tracker. Okay, basically what you do is I'm going to place this over my dog. And I'm going to track the motion of the dog. Okay, it follows the dog. Okay, and then what that does is you insert this into the, it inserts this for you into the next track. This is a placeholder up here. Now I can attach an image to that or a video or anything I want. I'm just going to hit play and it follows the dog. That in a nutshell is motion tracking. There is also a subtitle editor. This helps you edit and add subtitles to your videos. I'm not going to go into the actual functionality of it, but it works quite well. Okay, and last but not least, this is Corel Fast Flick. And what you do is you drag different videos over here insert them different photos so forth and so on it is template driven as well you choose a template just like we was looking at templates earlier but with this it actually inserts the photos for you you don't have to do any of that and then there are other things you can customize and change as well okay I'm not gonna go into all the functionality of this it's very much like the other template except this one will do a few more things for you automatically Oh, I can think of one thing I did not cover. Let me do that real quick. Okay, this is Corel's color correction. Okay, you can do all your basic, change your hues, saturation, brightness. In most cases, you can do all the adjustments you need right here. Okay. Also, there is a uh, white balance, which can work out quite well at times. There is also... A green screen feature okay green screen if you're not familiar with it or mask and chroma key is what it is is what you do is you apply chroma key to this green this is the same way the newscasters do their thing and now this becomes an animation on your screen and this is how green screen actually works this is just an animation I got from free green screen on YouTube. Okay, now I'm going to apply the mask frame. What these do is mask out a certain portion of the screen with different characteristics. They give you quite a few here, and these are kind of handy once in a while. They're kind of cool. There's different looks. Some of them are nicer than others, like always. And I want to thank you very much for tuning in. I hope that you've gotten out of this video what you was looking for. Any comments and suggestions, please feel free to leave them. Take care.